Hello, welcome to Chess with Chris. I'm, uh, I'm, again, I'm against AKH. What is that? ILG Akilj? Uh, let's play D5. Uh So I'm thinking about an early E five. That's um it's surprising, but it doesn't I don't think it's actually that strong. Um Let's go this way. All right, so now trading here, um, let's move this knight, we'll check my queen. Um, so that's something to worry about, though. Yeah, because he can actually just pick up an extra pawn here. So let's go here, I guess. That threatens this pawn. He can defend with this knight. Coming here. Or maybe he just develops his queen. Just move my queen back. Well, now, yeah, yeah, I have to move my queen back. He's kind of pushing me around, isn't he? Um, I just want to get developed in castle. So that relieves some tension. I don't have to worry about the center so much. I can play for this move slowly, like with this. Uh, let's go ahead and castle. I can put my queen here. Maybe move my rook here and play e5. If I move my pawn here, he can come in with this knight, but that loses this pawn of this. Um, he's wanting to come in here. I guess that's not that's not too horrible for me. Now if he comes here, he can also come in here. I don't know. Eventually, I have to respond to that. Um, well, I don't know. If he comes here, I can just move my queen back and then move my pawn forward. That's not so bad. So let's go ahead and play this. I'm threatening a pawn fork. If he trades, I'm planning to take back with the knight. And if he trades again, I'll take back with the rook. That's really aggressive, but I like it. Because um, it removes his king's defender, right? And now my rook can come over here and um, coordinate with the queen. This is an idea from the, um, from the, what opening is this from? Now if I take here, he can take back with the knight. My other rook could come into the game too. And I lose my light squared bishop. 
I move back, the trade's here, my rook sort of like sort of out and both of my both of my rooks are off the back rank. This is interesting. What do I do here? Uh, I feel like trading I can take back the initiative right with this move after he moves his knight in. Yeah, that's fine. I actually just take this pawn. Do I want to take the pawn or threaten the bishop? Where does the bishop go? It has to move back, right? Yeah, that's better. Or maybe he just protects it with his queen or something. Move it, moving his queen. Oh, that's 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 clever. I like that. Well, I was wanting to move this rook anyway. Can I just take this? I think I can, right? Just take, take, here. And then how does he defend the square? Oh, he can play f5. Um, it looks like fun. I mean, geez, might as well try it, right? Now his knight's not really doing anything. When he plays f5, my queen can just, like, hopefully skirt around this pawn somehow. With the knight controlling these squares, she doesn't really have that much maneuverability, but I can, like, threaten this pawn, maybe. Like, if he plays here, maybe I play here. And then I'm actually playing, I'm threatening both of these. Let's go here. I'm threatening mate. I was thinking he's going to play here. And my plan is to go here to threaten both of these pawns. He defends maybe this way. And I can move my knight. Not really. Oh, what do I do? So this pawn is actually just free. I can take it. Looks good to me. So I've got three pawns, I think, for the piece. Yeah, there's, a, there's my bishop, and there's his two, his three pawns. So I've got three pawns in front of his king uh, for that piece. That's that's got to be good enough compensation. Assuming we don't, assuming he can't just like trade force the trade off of all the material. I think my um, my active rooks here are gonna do good things for me. Yeah, so he's wanting to trade off. I can actually take this instead. Instead of just taking here, I can take this one. Is that better? I mean, I think it is better, right? Because he has to move his queen. It, his both, both his bishop and his queen are attacked at that point. If he moves his bishop back here, I can just take it. Still on his queen. So he moves his queen, I take his bishop, I'm a piece up. Wait, no I'm not. I'm not a piece up. <laughs> well, okay, I was a piece down before. Now I'm like three pawns up. Once I take back here. Maybe four pawns. Three pawns. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I can just take that. His queen's still attacked. Now I'm on this pawn. Uh, so I just take his queen, right? Yeah. Okay. Now with king wide open, he's got a rook and a piece for the for the queen, but I've got a ton of pawns here. Um. So what do I want to do? Check with the rook, I guess. Cool. 
What else? You can come here. Turn that pawn, maybe. I can threaten to come here with the queen. I've got more time than he does. Wow, that's <laughs> that never happens. I always use more time than my opponents. <clears throat> ah, I think maybe just the way to win here is just start pushing pawns. His knight has... I don't know, he can come here, but... I don't know, his knight is just not doing anything way out in the corner over here. My pieces have vacated this area. I have all these extra pawns, I have to use them in order to win, I think. This move is also good, I think, because it's difficult to defend this pawn. <coughs> so if I come here, it, he can check me one time, right, and then I stop it with this. And then he coordinates, maybe. Is that dangerous? I'm not sure. Maybe I go here to stop him from moving his rook. That still attacks his pawn. He can't move his rook over because of this move. That was the point of moving my queen here. So he's got to move this rook. Um, no, so I just take the pawn, right? Looks good to me. <coughs> okay, I think pinning his rook. Oh no, <laughs> a square with his knight, that would be bad. So I can go here with the, with the queen to pin his rook. Uh, let's go over here. I don't want any night checks. He's like really low on time. Um, I wonder what should I do? I have 30 seconds. Like, I kind of want to simplify. Maybe trade off a rook or something. I'm not sure how to accomplish that. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about this way. So, yeah, that, that looks like it just loses. Well, yeah, yeah. He could have gone here, and then I take his rook, and he takes mine. And now he just lost a rook of three. Um, so now here, I think that's checkmate, right? And D. Well, that was an exciting attack. Uh, I felt like I did really good that game. That was fun. Uh, that whole bishop attack, that was... Let's, let's, let's look at that. Um, I wonder if the computer would have played that move. Um, so let's step through this. <coughs> let's get out of the opening a little bit. Um, okay, so it thinks this is uh, good for black, actually. Okay. Yeah, it likes this position for me. I put my rook off. And then what's the recommendation here? To trade, actually. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Good deal. And Oh, he wants to take the pawn. All right, well, I didn't take the pawn, but 
Um, Mother's not that terrible. I go back this way, and then yeah, he went here, and the recommendation. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So it likes this. At first, it was thinking this, but now it likes my move. Hey, hey. So that was the right answer. Nice. Okay, so now here, what is this? It wants to take the bishop. Oh, of course, it's dropping the bishop. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did, right? Yeah, I took the bishop. <coughs> uh, now, what did it say to do here? Oh, yeah, move the queen away, of course. Yeah, you don't want to give up the queen. But he gave up the queen, and, the, and then we're in this thing here. Where, oh, wow, there's a forced mate in 10. Look at that. That's That's interesting. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't find the forced mate, but no game found, what? <laughs> That's so funny. Wow. You can turn off the open explorer. Yeah, so like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine here. Fun stuff. So yeah, this um so let's see where he went wrong in the opening. Alright, so let's open up the book and um oh come on. Uh this thing isn't very reliable, is it? Okay. Well according to Stockfish, um how would he have survived better in the opening? I think I think the main thing was uh him him, him pushing this way. Um yeah, so this is good for him, right? Like me moving my queen around, him developing his queen side. Yeah, and immediately, as soon as he presses this, uh, he's locked up the queen side to the point where I don't have to worry about the center or his, his queen side pieces attacking me very much. Um, so yeah, this was a mistake here, locking this up. Um, it's good to keep the tension open here, I think. You know, make, 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 make me always have to worry about trading. With me not having to worry about trading, I can just do my own plan, which was you know to do e5. I played this like a collie system almost. Um, instead of my bishop here, my queen's here. Yeah. So and then he just sort of fell apart because the king doesn't have any uh, any defense. Um, if he had taken, if he had gone here. Um, I don't know what I, I might have done something like this or, or like this. Yeah, I mean all my pieces are you know pointing pointing towards the side, right? So there's there's got to be stuff here. That's why Stockfish lays black here. And then this is just loses immediately, right? I can I can sack my bishop for the pawns and then regain one of these bishops. Apparently, I don't know if that was forced or not. Yeah, I don't know. If, so, what what's the best defense here? Like he, what did he play, by the way? Oh, he took my took my knight. Yeah, that was a mistake. I can't really move either one of these bishops because they're only they're both only uh, projected once with the bishop with the rooks coordinating. So, what what is Stockfish like? He likes to to move the queen here to defend this bishop a, a second time. That way, this this bishop can move if it wanted. <clears throat> but either way, yeah, it's it's really it's really dire for white here. Um his king is wide open, my rooks are active. Yeah, and this is just losing even more material. I don't know. So yeah, the So with, with him locking up the queen side and then me being able to get really active really quickly on the king side, uh this was like a suicide plan here. So yeah, that's a lesson learned from this game. Um well, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed playing it. Um, if you enjoyed that, um, give me a like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much.